Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Zach, your teacher for today. And today we are going to learn about module 1 Get Smart Plus 4 Where are you from? And the title is Project. Okay, so first thing first for today what we are going to do is we are going to recap our previous lesson okay so let's recap what we have done in the previous video okay first of all uh, in the previous video I've taught you about how to use the yes or no so let's look at the questions that I've given you in the Google form okay for number one does your father wash his car every day okay if the answer is yes what you should write is yes comma and then followed by he because your father look at the yellow color he your father is a man so that's why we use he does because does is the first question here so the ending must also be does okay but if your answer is no so what you should write is no he doesn't the same thing yellow color for your father change it to he or you can also say my father then for does you can say doesn't okay why we put doesn't because no and the anti here mean not no he does not no my father does not you may also answer it like that okay so now let's move to the next question okay so for question number two does your mother cook dinner every day okay same thing with the previous question here if your answer is yes yes she does change your mother to she and then put does behind and if your answer is no no she doesn't you may also put no my mother doesn't or you can also say no she does not or no my mother does not okay let's move to the third question okay so for number three does your best friend play with you all the time okay when we talk about best friend your best friend it can be a girl or it can be a boy so your answer depends on who is your best friend so if you answer yes you can say yes she does if your best friend is a girl and if your best friend is a boy you may say yes he does same thing with no you can say no she doesn't or no he doesn't okay let's go to the fourth one okay for number four does your English teacher always give you homework okay this depends on who is your English teacher for my class I'm a man so yes he does if you think I give you homework all the time and if you don't think so you may say no he doesn't if your English teacher is a woman you may say yes she does or no she doesn't okay let's go to the fifth one for number five does your cousin usually do sport with you okay for this one uh, you may say yes he does if your cousin is a boy and you may say yes she does if your cousin is a girl and if your cousin don't always do sport with you you may say no he doesn't or no she doesn't depending on 
uh, your cousin whether they are a boy or they are a girl okay so these are the five things that we have learned last week the five uh, the first five things that we have learned and the next thing that we have learned in the previous lesson is about Kim okay so this one is your homework last week we learned about always usually sometimes and never if you look at the chart here if you look at the table here this one you may look at this one there are four tables there the first one this one one two three and four four bright yellows it represent always because it's always one two three four four out of four is always the second one is one two three three out of four this one represent usually and then two out of four represent sometimes and zero out of four represent never okay let's look at the question for number one Kim always does homework after school okay so why is it always because look at the table it's four out of four and then does homework you need to add es because there's only one kim so every time you write you write he she or one name you need to put s or es so do will become does for one person do is more to many people like uh, kim and anya uh, they we uh, i you then you may say do okay so let's look at the next example okay so for the next one she sometimes goes ice skating after school okay look at ice skating ice skating is at the third table which is only two out of four half so when you only do two out of four the answer is sometimes and like just now change the go to goes because there's only one kim okay next one number three she sometimes watches tv after school same thing sometimes why sometimes because it's at the third one and watch tv uh, change it to watches tv for the next one uh, number four or number five kim never sleeps after school never because you can see the table there it's zero out of four and then sleep you need to put s because there's only one kim so kim never sleeps after school and for the last one she usually plays chess after school look at play chess it's at the second one so the second one represent usually and then play is a verb you need to add s for one person when somebody is doing something present then so she usually plays chess after school okay so let's go to today's lesson today's lesson is about writing an email so today you will be writing an email uh, you will learn how to write an email you might have learned it before or you may not learn it yet but it's okay today we're going to learn how to write an email okay so let's go to your textbook this is uh, an, an extract from from your students book about Kumar's favorite spot so what I want you to do is I want you to listen and read together after you finish listening i want you to read together okay 
first let's listen to the text. What's Kumar's favorite sport? Listen and read. Hi, my name's Kumar and I'm 10 years old. I'm from Malaysia and I live in Malacca. I've got a brother. His name is Rama. Have you got any brothers or sisters? In this picture, I'm playing football. Football is my favorite sport. What's your favorite sport? Please write back soon. Bye for now. Kumar. Okay, you have listened to the text just now. So now what I want you to do is I want you to read together. Okay, read after me. Hi, my name's Kumar and I'm 10 years old. I'm from Malaysia and I live in Malacca. I have got a brother. His name is Rama. Have you got any brothers or sisters? In this picture, I'm playing football. Football is my favorite sport. What's your favorite sport? Please write back soon. Bye for now. Kumar Okay. So, I hope you have read together with me just now. And if you look at the email, look at the email up there. There are two emails there. If you look closer. Yes. To penpal at world.com and from kumar at mall.com so there are two email why are there two email this is because uh, one is for the people who send the email and then the other one is for the people we send the email so let's look at this okay the first one two penpal at world.com this is the recipient email what does it mean by recipient's email it means that we uh, it is the email address of who we are going to send the email to so look at the keyword to this one to to at penpal at world.com so kumar sent the email to penpal at world.com and then the second one we have from from means from who from kumar at mall.com so if you are writing your email uh, it is called the sender's email so this one is your email address this one kumar at mall.com so if you are writing change it to your email address Okay, the next one. In an email, we have, when we are writing an email, we always start with hi or hello or uh, how are you, all of that. So this one, hi. After you write the word hi, there's a line here between hi and my name. So leave one line. Leave one line. Okay. Next. We have paragraph one, which is my name's Kumar until brothers or sisters. When we write email, uh, we can write it in one paragraph or two paragraphs like this one, depending on how much or how many uh, things are you going to write in this email. So here you can look at the paragraph one, Kumar introduce himself he's telling about uh, his name how old is he where is he from where does he live and about his family that's why all of that is about introducing self it's in the first paragraph and then for the second paragraph look here in this picture so the focus of the second paragraph is telling about the picture that's why uh, Kumar write about two paragraph if you only write about yourself and nothing else you don't have to write two paragraph you just have to write about one paragraph but if you write about yourself and then you're talking about the picture what are you doing in the picture 
so you need to write it in uh, two paragraph and then afterwards what we have is after the please write back soon please leave one line again and then write bye for now and then lastly write down the sender's name so if you are writing the email the one down there the kumar change it to your name it's almost the same as we send a letter uh, but email is a uh, electronic mail we send it from the internet okay so now what i want you to do is i want you to find out about the information from the, the email okay so first one what you need to write is name age where is kumar from where he lives uh, kumar's family and what he likes so i'm going to give you a few seconds to find the information and then we i will put the answer out uh, one by one so i'm going to give you a few seconds for number one okay so name for name the name should be kumar unless he write there his full name like kumar anak laki nagarajan then you have to write all the thing but if you cannot find just write his name as kumar remember kumar is a proper noun it's a name so you must write the first letter in capital letter so k write it in a big letter followed by the rest in small letter okay so i believe you have uh skim go through the information so how old is kumar he is 10 years old where is he from he's from malaysia like you where does he lives he lives in malacca again for malaysia and malacca you need to write it in capital letter because that is a proper noun okay so about kumar's family how many brothers or sister does he have so he only have a brother i have got a brother so he only have one brother a brother and what does he likes to do he likes football so these are the example so i want you to write this one in your ex and your next work is okay now you have to fill in your own information like kumar just now so i'm going to give you an example it's about myself mr zek so you write about yourself uh, based on what i teach here okay so what is your name okay so my name is zek so i put here zek uh, please write your full name so if your name is uh who's the first one ashton you write your full name or Lau Kaden or uh, Jeline or Mukesh or uh, Angeline write down your name so the next thing you have to write is how old are you so for me I'm Mr. Zach I am 30 years old this year so I write here 30 years old so for you you are in the year 4 some of you might be 9 years old some of you might be 10 years old so you can write how old are you there right and then for number three i'm from where are you from like you guys i am from malaysia too and then for number four i live in i live in sabah currently i'm stuck in sabah so i live in sabah how about you where are you now uh, where are you living? Johor, Malacca, Penang? Write down where is your place here. So remember, for name, uh, for Malaysia and for the country, we need to write it in capital letter. Okay, next is about family. How many brothers and sister, sisters do you have? For me, I have five brothers and two sisters. So if you have 
one brother and one sister you just write a brother and a sister if you only have a brother just write a brother if you only have a sister then just write a sister if you are an only child means you are you are the only one in the you are the only children in the family you write there i'm an only child only o n l y c h i l d only child means you are the only one okay and then lastly i like what do you like okay for me i like doing marathon and playing electric bass so i put here uh, two things you can write at least one thing or more so afterwards we are going to write an email based on our own information okay so let me teach you first uh, you look at the instruction write an email to a new pen pal then present it to the class it's okay what you need to do is you just write an email to me uh, I'm going to show you my email address afterwards so what you need to write here is the first thing here look at the word from this one is your email address make sure you write your email address here okay so uh, based on my example just now let's write this is my example my information so hi my name is Zach my name's Zach and I'm 30 years old I'm from Malaysia I live in Sabah I have got six brothers and two sisters I like marathon and playing electric bass please write back soon and then write your name there and then this is my name Zach okay then here you can add some pictures okay this is my picture of doing marathon and this is my picture of playing electric bass okay so your exercise today how to write an email okay if uh, let me say this in advance if you don't have an email address uh, you can just write it in a book or a full scap paper or test pad and send the picture to me but if you have an email you can write an actual email to me uh, if you don't have any email don't worry I'm you just watch because I'm going to teach you how to write an actual email okay so first thing first go type Gmail in Google and then you will see type Gmail and then you will see Gmail Google like this one or you can just click on the sign in button here okay next after you click on the sign in button you will see uh, an account like this if you haven't signed in you will see a lot of account like this you can just choose which account you want to use this is my usual email the one I used to teach you or you can choose use another account if you haven't uh, put the email address here before okay so after you click the use another account then this will come out so what you have to do is you need to type in your email address and click on the next button okay after you click the next button you will see this one and please enter your password after you enter your password here click on the next and you will go into your email so this is how the email address look looks at this is the inbox so what you need to do is you need to click on the compose this button click on the compose means you want to write compose means write and after you click the compose this will come out so you can make it bigger by clicking on this button here okay next it will become bigger like this one what you need to do is first you need to write the two two means 
to who uh, to whom are you going to send the email so you are going to send the email to me so my email address you write this one to g-35036688 at moe dash dl dot edu dot my so you need to make sure that you type the email address correctly and after that click on the subject type in all about me this is the subject the topic the title of your email okay after you write that you may want to attach a picture what picture attach a picture of your uh, what you like for example my picture here just now playing bass so I click on this button to attach the picture and then click open and then the picture will come out like this one okay so after you click on the picture that one you can click before or after you finish typing the email uh, when you type the email this one hi my name is which what is your name uh, and I am how many years old I'm from where are you from from Malaysia or are you from Taiwan from Singapore I live in where do you live I have got how many brothers and sisters I like what do you like to do please write back soon and then write your name okay make sure you attach a picture of you doing something you like okay so after you finish just click on the send button and that's for today don't forget to send your work through email or WhatsApp or Google Classroom. If you don't have an email, don't worry. Just write it in a piece of paper and send it send it to WhatsApp or Google Classroom. Uh, just take a picture of it. Okay, so that's it for this week. See you next week, guys. Bye.